Monocytes are white blood cells that function in the initial stages of an immune response. They develop into two different forms in the bone marrow and then circulate in the blood as distinct populations of cells. In humans, about 90% of circulating monocytes are the so-called classical monocytes. At sites of infection, classical monocytes adhere to the endothelial cells, migrate through the vessel wall, and then differentiate into inflammatory monocytes and macrophages. A second type of monocyte, called a patrolling monocyte, also travels through the blood vessels, but in much smaller numbers than classical monocytes. Unlike classical monocytes, patrolling monocytes roll along the endothelium rather than circulating freely and do not migrate into the tissue or differentiate into macrophages. Due to this behavior, it is believed that patrolling monocytes survey the endothelium for sites of injury. In this time-lapse video, created with intravital two-photon microscopy, monocytes labeled with a green fluorescent protein can be observed within the arterial vasculature, which appears in red. Played at this speed, the video condenses 47 minutes into 15 seconds and allows us to observe both classical monocytes and patrolling monocytes as they move along the endothelium within the arteries. When we repeat the video at half speed, note how the classical monocytes roll rapidly along the endothelium in the direction of the blood flow. In contrast, the patrolling monocytes adhere more tightly to the inner surface of the vessel and slowly traverse the endothelium in either direction and are even able to change direction. At higher magnification, we see two patrolling monocytes explore an artery. Firmly attached to the endothelium, they slowly traverse the width of the vessel, moving back and forth across the interior. Although this is still an active area of research, we can directly observe the patrolling behavior of these monocytes that have led scientists to believe that they function as sensors for endothelial damage or infection.